<laughs> what was that? What's up guys? Welcome back. I just watched Daniel, so I had to come at you like that. <laughs> so we have a, several updates right now. One, yes, my video is super late because Ferdinand, where are you, buddy? There you are. Ferdy had his last breakfast this morning off his mama. Not sure why you're not in the barn, buddy. Well, I'll get him in there. Don't worry, guys. We'll, we'll make sure to get him in the barn tonight, and I'll go ahead and close and lock the barn so that he is safe and he's not running around like a crazy out here. But yeah, today's the day, guys. Last breakfast he had this morning from Mama Ferdy or from Mama Frosty. So he will, he will be permanently in the stall with the boys. I'm going to keep this video very short and sweet, guys. Uh, point my light towards my head. I wanted to give you guys a Genji update and a soap update. You guys can have a gummy update too if you want. There she is. Cute and cuddly, cute and cuddly. Hi. Can we talk about you? Yes. <laughs> so she's really shown no signs of any further progression. Personally, I think her ligaments are maybe loosening a bit but i wouldn't i would not mislead you guys and say that they're disappearing at a rate where we're gonna have babies tomorrow so honestly i don't know um she's pretty calm gummy i gotta move you honey gotta move you she's pretty calm no issues what we're also looking for sometimes is you'll see her start to sink in right here as the babies drop down to get lined up to come to come out the back there. Now she's got this cute little udder. Boop, boop, boop. She's gonna let me touch. And it's been about the size of the palm of my hand. That's gummy eating the camera, just so you know, since the beginning. So no real change there, nothing changing in the background. Sorry for the snuffles, guys. I'm so tired of 70 degrees one day and 40 the next. I am not feeling well, but I did want to give you guys an update on Genji. She is losing ligament, but it's not in a quick... <laughs> She's in no hurry, so we'll keep an eye on that. I have no issues thinking... Uh, I wish I hadn't said anything to start with because I didn't want you guys to think babies are coming right away but just the way she was behaving that day was a little concerning for me so we're looking for a drop in the side as the babies move down and line up for the back we're looking for ligament softening and virtually disappearing we're looking for some behaviors that indicates that she's <laughs> does your does your behavior ever change <laughs> But we're looking for some behaviors that indicate, you know, she's like she's separating herself from the herd. She's trying to get off by herself and be alone, trying to find a safe space to have the babies. And she's exhibiting none of that. So huh, I guess that's good. Next week is looking like garbage Ohio weather. It's going to be in the 20s overnight. So go figure, you know. Yeah, whatever, Ohio. Other than that, everybody else is doing very well. Miss Cookie is doing awesome. Sparkle is still... Mm, try not to be my friend. Gummy. Everybody's doing well, guys. They're just lazing about, eating their hay. Who closed the gate? Oh, goodness. Somebody locked in there? One sheep. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> So, uh, poor Ferdinand. So I'm actually over here tonight. I'm going to milk Frosty for the first time at night. She, since Ferdinand is going to be sleeping with the boys and no longer drinking off of mom, we're going to go ahead and start milking her at night as well. If she's up to it and we have time, I might try to throw in a third milking to increase her production. But uh, with where she's averaged out, I don't think it'll make much 
much difference. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Yeah, I know, sweetie. She's been a little concerned about him being over there. As you can hear her calling him. He's calling back at her. But I'm going to lock her in the stall. I'll close this barn off. Uh, I'll go over to feed the boys. And when I go feed the boys, he will definitely go in the barn with them. That's that Perun too many, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Woo -woo. Um, <laughs> sorry. 10% discount in my link below. I'm kidding. But, uh, yeah. So I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll lock in the girls. I'll lock in the boys, including Ferdinand. Um, fat man will get locked in too. That'll be a little more challenging. And it'll be a long night for him and it'll probably be a long night for mom. but we'll get her done. And now, so as not to draw out this video any further, you guys, as always, freaking draw. Uh, sold out in 45 minutes. Basically, Queen of Hearts was gone in like nine minutes, I think. Uh, and a few other ones were going quite early on. And... The stragglers, as always, was like men's, uh, lemon, Irish. But the last men's bars were purchased at like 12.46, I think, so 46 minutes. <sighs> and then the pain began because you guys know I don't mind combining your orders. That, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I've learned how to do it. However, Etsy decided to throw a little wrench into the plan. Whatever's going on with their site was, I can't look right at the camera, guys, because I turned my light on it so you guys could see, but now it's blinding me. Um, whatever's going in and on in their background, they've, they've done some updates. I could tell just from the format of the, the homepage and some of the other things on the shipping pages, <clears throat> they've done some rejiggering. And every single time. So normally when I do an order, if somebody orders more than one time, just to try to get soap. By the way, hopefully by June, July, guys, we will have so much soap out there, you won't be able to buy it all out, okay? So it'll be slower shopping and you guys can take your time and and hopefully everybody can get what they want. But um, what I would normally do is I would click on your name. Now, for you guys who've asked, yes, we always try to combine orders. I can only do that if your name comes up. When I click on your name, and I click order history, that pulls up all of your orders. And what that does, if you've had to order three times or four times or 11 times, somebody's breaking records, you broke two records. Most orders ever done and the most bars of soaps ever purchased on from us on Etsy. Thank you. I'm not gonna say your name, but you're awesome. But, uh, so when I click on your name, I click order history, it pulls up, if you ordered three times today, it'll pull up all three orders, and then I'll combine those using the techniques that I have to use, which is terrible, but works. Today, what they've done was, whatever they did, when I pulled up your order, I will go to one of your orders and I'll process it, and I will adjust the shipping rate to cover all three orders, and then I will take the shipping cost that you paid for the other two orders completely out of the system or there might be like there might be some change that i have to charge you uh based on so many factors how many you ordered what boxes we put in and all that but uh <clears throat> today when i got to that order page and i clicked on your orders and i tried to click uh get shipping label it wouldn't allow me to do it and i would have to refresh the screen close out of everything find your name again click on your orders again don't touch anything else then click on that first order and click the shipping label and then go find your orders again pull them back into that window open it up add your shipping numbers to those additional orders every single action that i did required me to refresh the page it 
took me four and a half hours to go through orders. Probably should have taken me two. Tops. Um, it was a freaking nightmare, and I finally got through it all. Hopefully, we'll get everything packaged tomorrow and or Monday and shipped out Monday and or Tuesday. So, good night. It's just been a night, and I wanted to get a video out, but for the reasons I just explained, Etsy being Etsy, that didn't happen. So, we got her done. We got all the orders <laughs> taken care of. Um, thank you guys again for ordering. I will leave you with somebody. Who do we want to leave you with? Gummy. Everybody sees gummy all the time. Gum gums. Let's find someone else. What do you think? You just coughed up your cud. Is that your thought there? Rosie's getting super chonky. You guys want to see baby bumps? Pudding is ridiculous. Sprinkles, quite nice. Remember, this is lunch. This is babies. Tip, uh, I mean, they're in there everywhere, but it's just a good rule of thumb. Because when they're eating throughout the day, this side will get huge. Where you at, Miss Sprinkles? Let's let's leave them with you, babies. You guys, if, it might not look as big on camera, but oh my gosh, she is massive. And I hope you don't have four or five babies in there again. Just two, three babies, nice and healthy, no issues. That's what we want, right? She is huge. Can I get you to move out a little bit? I mean, look at that, guys. That is crazy. And she has like a month to go at least, I think. So, whew. You're going to be big, mama. I prefer not. But it is what it is. Oh, you got your you got your lunch side all really full too. What about you, babes? You don't look like you're having five this year, which is good. I don't want that again. This one's going to the vet on Monday. Because her leg has really been giving her trouble. <sighs> I need to figure out what we can do. And I, I'm a little afraid to take her to the vet because of the potential end game. That'll kill me. Well, hello. <laughs> you look like a lion in the darkness. I think I said it on my last video, guys, but if I didn't, um, these guys get sheared March, April. However, my shear stopped shearing privately. And he is helping me try to find a new shearer. Uh, thus far, no luck. So as soon as we can get a shearer on, on the farm, we'll get these girls taken care of. If it comes down to it, I'll have to give him a hack job. Uh, this has been Genji, guys. Why don't we just leave you with Genj? She has been doing a lot of laying around, which is not as typical for her behavior. But, you know, she she could do be due from two days ago to five days from now. So, gum gum gums. So we're keeping a very close eye on her. <clears throat> so many people ask. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on her. So that is pretty much it for this guys. Again, thank you, appreciate it. I got some goats to milk. I got some babies to, to cuddle so he doesn't have a bad night. And then we will see you guys tomorrow.